Well, my mom said, she said, Kristen, it's never too old to go back to school. Yeah. And I think those are words of wisdom. Yeah. It really helped me. Yeah. But Pushed I mean, me right back into school. And I'm glad she said that. Well, I've applied to the University of Pennsylvania and I applied to Salisbury University. So I've gotten my acceptance from Salisbury. I've met with the director at um, the University of Pennsylvania last Monday. Well, Kristen is, has been our most successful honors scholar ever, I think. She's taken more than twice the required courses to earn the honors scholar designation. Yeah. I've had so many fun experiences. That's why I did so many of them, because you could, you could curb the curriculum, basically, to, to do something that's you know, beneficial for the community or you could do something that inspired other students. So you could really make a big impact and if you were creative enough. And that's why I liked it so much because I was able to influence people to do volunteer work. I was able to help with um, psychological and battered women. Oh, and, you know, really. Yeah, our goal really is to provide the best quality education possible, experiential, boots on the ground, classroom, experiences and interactions with your professors so that while you're here, uh, you make the most of your education, but beyond that, so that you have every opportunity to transfer to an Ivy League school uh, or to transfer with scholarships and grants beyond. So we want to make your experience excellent here, experiential here, but then help you set your trajectory farther after you leave. And I, I, yeah, the honors contract enables students to personalize a course. So it gives faculty and students license to work together to customize the syllabus for this person this semester. We're going to meet the same learning outcomes for the course, but we're going to do it by creating a project that you're excited about that matches your personal goals, your personal passions, or your professional and educational goals and passions. So you've got aspiring nursing students in microbio uh, shadowing nurses at Easton Memorial Hospital. You have people in William Thomas's music class just down the hall who are attending live classical performances and reflecting with him. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen people submit 30-minute uh, documentaries that perf were professionally done in lieu of the traditional research paper. Yeah. Every bit as much engagement with the material customized to the student's particular skill set. Yeah. Uh, I always wanted more for myself, but I got injured. I mean, I hadn't really talked about that, but I had a, I've had a lot of surgeries. Yeah. So going through all that stuff, you oh, know, right. and, and trying to get myself feeling back to the way I used to was an arduous process. Okay. But um, coming here and having this support and um, the support of TRIO, which is the Student Support Services on campus, having mentors like Dave Harper, yeah. Yeah. It's just it's changed my life.